In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple Salesforce flow that will create a case and then allow your customers to pay you via a secure payment link. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization, then you are in the right place. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to use Flow to allow your Salesforce users to create a new case and send a payment request to your customer. This would be a common flow for using Salesforce in a customer service call center where your customers might need replacement parts that are out of warranty or wish to order supplies during a service call. Flow is an application inside Salesforce that lets you automate business processes, collecting data, and then doing something with that data. Flow Builder is the interface you use to create flows and it is very powerful and pretty cool. Let's dig in. Step one, a new flow. To get started, head to the Salesforce setup screen and type flows in the quick find box. From the flows setup screen, click new flow. You will see several options. For our example, we'll be using a screen flow. Choose auto layout to continue. Step two, add the record ID. You will need to create a variable to capture the ID of the record starting the flow. In the toolbox, click new resource. You will use a resource type of variable. Be sure to give it an API name of record ID and a data type of text. Be sure and select available for input as this ID is originating from outside the flow. Now click done. And by the way, we've made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check that link in the description below. Step three, get the opportunity. Next, we will need to get the record details for our opportunity object. Click the plus sign and add the get records element. Let's give it a name of get opportunity and then hit tab to autocomplete the API name. Enter a description and then select the opportunity object. We don't want all opportunity records, so let's filter the records using the record ID variable we created before. We only want to store the first record returned and let's have Salesforce automatically store all fields. Step four, save work. It is always a good idea to save our work. So let's click the save button and give our flow a name. Click save when you're done filling in the details. You will want to continue saving the flow throughout the building process. Step five, the case detail screen. Next, we will add our first screen element. We will need to give our screen a label and API name. Then we will add a text screen component for our case subject and a long text area screen component for our case description. Just enter subject and description for the label and API names. We will also add a toggle so users can let the flow know if replacement items are needed. We are finished creating our first screen, so click done. Step six, the decision element. Next, we will add a decision element that uses the toggle we just created. Once the decision element has a label and API name, we can complete the outcome order section. We will need to give our outcome label a name. Let's use yes and click the tab key to fill in the API name. We will leave the condition requirement pick list as is and enter our criteria. In this case, when the input toggle value equals true, if you'd like, you can rename the default outcome to no. Step seven, explain next steps. The flow logic now splits depending on the value of the toggle we created. If the user selects yes, we will want to collect some payment request details, then create the order and payment request, then finally create the new case. If they selected no, they can skip directly to creating the new case. Step eight, the payment screen. Next, we will add a screen in the yes node of the flow. We will want to add an email screen component and a currency screen component so we can verify the user's email address and enter the charge amount needed to create our charge and order and payment request. When adding the email component, we can pre-populate it by adding the opportunity billing contact to the value field. Step nine, create the order. Now that we have the necessary information, let's create our charge and order. Add the create records element and let's select use separate resources and literal values. Enter charge and order in the object field. We will now set field values for the charge and order. The charge and order's billing email and subtotal will come from the screen we just made. We will also add the charge and order's billing first name and last name from the billing contact record. For the gateway, we will need the gateway ID and we will want to relate the record to our opportunity using the record ID variable. 
Step 10, create payment request. Next, we will create the payment request record and set field values for the payment request. First, let's add the related order and opportunity. We can use the ID of the create order element and record ID of the opportunity. We will then add the email address and set the send payment request email value to true. Lastly, we will set the payment request transaction type to charge full amount and add a quick note to the record. Step 11, create case. Finally, we will create our new case where the criteria nodes meet backup and the create record element and set the account ID, subject and description and then click done. Step 12, activate. Now that the flow is created, we will activate it and add a button to launch the flow. Head over to the opportunity object in the object manager and click on buttons, links, and actions. We will create an action from our flow and the button to the opportunity page layout. Step 13, try it out. That was a lot of steps. Now let's try it out. Head to an opportunity page and click the create case button. Enter your case details and activate the toggle. Now we will confirm the user's email address and enter the charge amount for the charge and order. Click next to finish and we're all done. The flow has created a charge and order, created and emailed a payment request and created a new case. Did you know there is a way to use Salesforce flows to manage a large number of payment gateway integrations? Then use Logic to automatically populate the correct gateway for that situation. If you are using Chargent on Salesforce and you have more than a few payment gateway records, you should find this video very helpful. My name is Randy and I'm from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization, then you're in the right place. You may have seen our video on how to set up multiple gateways for Salesforce with Chargent Anywhere, where we discuss the use of the component filters to select the correct gateway. That approach works great for customers with a handful of gateway records. However, some of our customers have hundreds of gateway records. Not only is this cumbersome to set up, it also exceeds the maximum number of components that can be added to a Lightning page. So we're going to need a more robust solution for this. Let's take a look at how we can leverage record triggered flows to manage all these gateways. In this example, we have a location pick list on the opportunity object, each with a corresponding gateway record. To get things set up, first we'll edit the Chargent Anywhere component to have a default gateway. You can leave the other fields as is. Now let's create a record triggered flow that will reference the location pick list and then set the proper gateway on the charge in order. Click the gear icon and head to the Salesforce setup. In the quick find box, type flows and click the link. Click new flow and select record triggered flows for the type. Let's use auto layout feature and start building our flow. Let's trigger the flow when the record is created and run the flow before the record is saved. We will select the charge and order object and only trigger the flow if the opportunity lookup field is populated. Before we continue, let's do two things first. First, let's save our flow. With our saved flow, we need to use the gateway record node to get the related opportunity. Let's use a filter to return only the related opportunities and only store the first record returned. We will also need to get the correct gateway record. Using filters, we will only want to get active gateways where the name matches the location. In this setup, the name of the gateway must match the values on the opportunity location pick list. Now we can use an assignment node to assign the new gateway. That's all there is to it. Let's save and activate the flow and see how it works. Head over to an opportunity and make sure that the location field is populated. Now let's use the payment console to charge the card. Success! Now let's go verify the correct gateway was used on the charge and order and transaction. Everything is perfect here. It really is that simple. Want to see more solutions like this? Ask me about them in the comments below. We will work to include them in future videos. I bet you didn't know that you can use Chargent in a flow to take payment on any page in Salesforce. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to do just that using Chargent's take payment component. My name is Micaiah and I'm from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce admin or a consultant who wants to supercharge your payment processes, then you are in the right place. Flow is the future of automation in Salesforce. And in fact, at Dreamforce 21, Salesforce announced that workflow rules and process 
builder are being retired in late 2022. As that is the case, it is time for all of us to start thinking more seriously about using Flow to accomplish our process goals without any code directly on the Salesforce platform. Now, before we get into this demo, I want you to know that we have made a guide to show you how to make recurring payments fully automated inside of Salesforce. Get your copy today. Use the link in the description of this video. Today, the use case for this demo, it's collecting donations from employees for a charity that makes clean water a reality globally. As the administrator, you wanna drive as much impact as possible. So we're gonna use the homepage for your org to accomplish this. One prerequisite as we get into this, if you're following along, you will need to check that you have take payment component enabled in the org that you're working in. Now, this component, it's part of the Chargent Platform Edition. It is also available in sandboxes for testing and for development. Let's dig in. First, head into setup and then using quick find, search for flows. Choose flows under process automation. Create a new flow. Choose screen flow, click choose auto layout. Use the plus icon to create a new screen. Go ahead and give it a label. In our example, I'm going to use a display text first to make our pitch. I'll add display text and input the details. Chargent requires that a Chargent record order is created. And so we will add a new element. Click Create Record, set the label, API name, and the description. Now set the how many records to one and set the record fields to use separate resources and literal values. In the object field, type Chargent Orders and choose Chargent Orders from the list you'll see the value on the screen here. Click into search fields, then find each of these fields and apply their values. Set a value as you would like. In our demo, we're asking employees to give $50 a piece. Now one could use Flow to collect this information in your Flow in a field, but we aren't covering that in this video. Once we set a value, click the add field button. The next field we need to add is the gateway field. To find your chosen gateway ID, just navigate to the gateway record and pluck the ID out of the URL. Paste that gateway record ID into the value field. Add the manual charge field and set the global constant of true. Add a screen element using the plus icon and give the new screen a name like payform. Now I want you to drag and drop the display text component onto the screen and input your call to action. Drag and drop the take payment component onto the screen. Give an API name. Any name will do. Let's use take payments, just one word. Now, input charge and orders, charge amount, in gateway ID. Use the same gateway record ID from just a moment ago. In the pay form title, give your pay form a name. I'm calling mine water charity donation. In record ID, we will use a variable which calls for the record ID from the previous step in our flow where we created the charge and order. In the billing contact field, put in the API name for where to draw the contact details. Let's collect an email address and country name. So we're gonna go ahead and set those to both global constant of true. Finally, set the form to show the toast message by adding another global constant of true. We are ready, so we can click done. Next, go ahead and click that save button and give it a name like take payments flow and then activate. Now do remember that your users are gonna need to have permissions to view this flow. So be sure that you've given them the required permissions in Salesforce. Now let's add the flow to our homepage so that we can give maximum exposure for our campaign. Navigate to your homepage. Click the gear icon in the upper right. Choose edit page. Now that we're in the lightning page builder, you're gonna choose flow from the standard components on the left-hand side of the page. Then on the right, use the flow dropdown to choose the newly created flow. I choose my take payments flow from the dropdown menu. Click save, click activate, and then click the back arrow to get back to the page we just edited. Okay, now I'm ready to switch hats and act as an employee donating on this page that we just created. So I land on the home page. I see the new request. I believe that everyone needs and deserves access to clean water. So I click next and enter my address and card details. And then I click the pay $50 button. 
I see the big green check mark showing that everything's a success. And just like that, I've donated to help this mission. You can use the same idea to put flow anywhere you want. So get creative and go collect some cash. And now I want you to check out this next video here where you're gonna learn more about making payments simple inside of Salesforce. My name is Micaiah and remember here at Chargent, we are always here to help.